What is up everyone, this is MoGaming here, and today I want to show you how to fix your Xbox error code 0x800C0005. So this is an error code that's been popping up on the Xbox Series S or X specifically, and I want to kind of troubleshoot you some ways on how to fix this. So this is usually like happening when you're trying to play like some air songs or music video or something, but it's it's all related to a network issue is just it's giving you an error for that specific type of thing that you're doing so the way you fix this is you want to go to your settings and you want to go to network settings so in here you want to make sure like kind of like you're con you're connected to the internet your speed is working fine <coughs> excuse me all that other good stuff is happening right your nat type is decent it's not strict or something and a lot of these things can is mostly related to your router so the first thing i would advise you to do is if you can find your router if it's something that it's not a public router that you're using disconnect it from the back and plug it back in the other thing you can do on top of that is there's usually a small button on the back of the router that you can either press or put a pin in that resets the router this brings it back to a factory re re like default settings and you want to do that you want to basically get it to that settings like remove any possible restrictions they may or may not have and they may also update the router as well a lot of these things you can do from the router itself like the router settings but a lot of people aren't usually tech savvy enough to like find out how to log into the router what the password it is and they may mess something up that may make it worse than what the issue is um but most of the times you can fix your net type from the router itself it tells you like hey these are the devices connected what do you want to give it access to xyz you can tell like hey my ps5 is connected my net gear router used to say that and i used to kind of enable it and then i wouldn't get a specific error i, I don't remember what it was um but long story short, you can try those methods out and you should be good to go. The next thing you can do is you can go to advanced settings and in here you can go to DNS settings. In here you want to make this from automatic into manual and you want to make the primary into 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and you want to make your secondary into 8.8.4.4. .4. Once you do those two settings, you, it's going to basically update, and then you should not get this, you're gonna see, it's gonna say all good, connection setting, and you should be kind of good to go and not get this error any longer. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button, helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, I'm out.